Alrighty guys, today we're gonna be picking up the flares for the Cressida and hopefully test fitting them at least. In the previous video, it might have sounded a little weird that I said that they were coming on the Greyhound truck and that's because it was the cheapest way to ship them from California all the way here since they are kind of big. It's, it's very kind of different for me, but they basically just ship it to the nearest station. And so my nearest station is all the way down in downtown Chicago, so it might be a little bit of a cool video. This will also be a good test for the 35s to see how they do without the uh, stabilizer kit. Again, I haven't gotten them in yet, so we're gonna have to wait on those, but this is gonna be quite a journey on the highway, and uh, without that stabilizer kit, we'll see how these do. But we're gonna head out now, and uh, I'll kind of show you the process of this whole thing, because it's definitely new to me. I'm here to pick up a package. What's the name? Tyler Fiocco. There they are. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. leaving Greyhound we decided to come out to some uh, spots downtown Chicago that Oscar knows and so he's taking some pictures they'll be up on the gram I didn't end up having enough time to fit the fenders last night after we got it but also Cameron and Bryce got here they're in town for uh, auto mass so we got them doing some stuff in the background so don't mind them but we're gonna be mounting the fender flares see how they look uh, not officially I'm just gonna be like taping them up or whatever and see how they look I'm super excited I haven't even unwrapped them yet Since they didn't label these, I honestly don't really know which one goes on which side. Um, but I imagine this one goes on the passenger side, and then we'll unwrap that one and fit it here. But uh, I believe that they also, they don't have any like cuts in it for where the bumper is, so it's not gonna fit absolutely perfect. And I'm not really sure, I think these are a little bit universal for like Toyota bodies, not really sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and open the other side of the front, and then we'll open up the backs and see how they fit. I believe this is how they want me to put them. I know that the back goes like this. Uh, fitment isn't perfect, but uh, like I said, this will require some trimming and uh, some slight modification to the fenders. Uh, these are a little bit universal, but I believe this is kind of how they want it to go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tape these up to the body and uh, that way we can get a little bit of a reference of what it's gonna look like when it's done. These rear fenders are really big. Uh, and yes, they will be closing, or they will be attached to the door, so the rear doors will not be able to open. And then also the uh, fuel door, I'm gonna have to probably cut out for it since it is gonna be covering that a little bit as well. Um, I don't know if the position is off or anything, but it might just stop at the end of the bumper. Um, but this is probably gonna have to be cut in a little bit. If you see Bozo cars, a lot of the times the flares are cut right there. Um, so these are pretty damn accurate to what they actually look like. Uh, you can see that I have a huge gap between the flare and where the wheel is. And then in the back, not so much. So I'm probably gonna have to, uh, you know, bend it so that way it actually brings this out depending on, uh, you know, once we get our wheels, which I'm not going to mount these flares until we get our wheels, uh, I'll bend these out to kind of where we want them because you can see that it's kind of coming off of the body there and um, I'm going to have to trim and everything. So we're kind of going to get everything and then finalize the position. Again, this is nowhere near the actual position of where it's supposed to be, but I think it looks pretty damn good. It's looking more and more bozo as we uh, go on and cannot wait until we get our wheels. Uh, we're still waiting on the manufacturer for the lips uh, so that way I can actually get them rebuilt and then they gotta come from California to here. So that's gonna be quite a long process, but it's okay because we really got a lot more to do on this. I mean, again, like this is really kind of getting there. This back end is probably gonna be uh, almost done by the end of this next week. I really wanna get it done or I wanna really try and get this close at least and then uh this is 
kind of close and I don't know I just want to get this whole back end kind of close and that way I can start on the rear spoiler and I'll get the taillights ordered and then I don't know the rest of the stuff but anyways guys that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed today's video peace out